Stay there. Not my way, but you're going to be in a frame. They're going to be able to see. That's what I'm saying. That's okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, Glam Dolls. So, chances are you are a newbie that is passing through and you're seeing me for the very first time based upon the title of this video. So, I want to at least start off by introducing myself. My name is Glam and welcome to the Miss Glam at a YouTube channel. And I strongly encourage that you hit the subscribe button because, Lord, you're going to be in for a journey, okay? Um, like I said, my name is Glam, and I'm all about being a beauty on a budget who love not breaking bank for a fabulous look. So, I'm here today to share with you all course saving tips on how you can save money buying your post-op supplies from your local Dollar Tree, okay? Me, myself, I got a LiPo 360 BBL procedure that I got coming up next month. And um, I want to show you all some of the things that I brought. So, so, so excited. Now, this isn't everything, but this is the bulk of everything that's going to be um, needed. So, I already have made me a um, supply list of what was needed. So, I'll take that out. And let's get this video um, going. First thing about the bag. You're going to need some antibacterial hand soap. So I purchased um, this one right here. And this is antibacterial hand soap. And I got this because once you, you know, get the surgery and whatnot, and you may have open incisions from where they um, put the wand in to do the light bulb, you're going to want to handle that with always sanitized, clean hands when changing your dressing. So I got that right there. I also picked up some... Um, peroxide hydrogen peroxide again to clean the incision marks so I got some of that and when I'm just changing the um, band-aids or whatever some regular and uh, germex moisturizing with aloe hand sanitizer so I got some hand sanitizer now when uh, the doctor I met with which is dr. David Shakorian at goals aesthetics and plastic surgery that's where I'm going um, they already told me that once I get the procedure done for the first 48 hours, not to emerge myself in bath water or to take a shower. They said do um, like a bird bath, okay? So I got me some, I know it says Sesame Street, but I got some baby wipes. Now the reason why I purchased the baby wipes is because this has shea butter in it. So I got the baby wipes and I got two of them two baby wipes and to do the sponge bath I got some um, baby bath some right here to, you know to wash and then I got some baby lotion uh, it's gentle and mild some baby lotion and to continue on the smell good of everything I got some creamy baby oil now the baby oil is not going to be used exactly where the, the incision marks are but along the lines of me you know getting a bird bath so yeah now uh once like i said once the procedure is said and done it's going to be very difficult to use the bathroom and whatnot and being by they said you know you're not supposed to really shower or bathe the first 48 hours i also got some flushable moist wipes which is for your genital areas um you know your genital area basically so i got that right there because you still got to keep yourself clean so that's the first bag the second round of goodies okay i purchased this shower curtain now i got the shower curtain not for what it say it is and what it's for but um i got the shower curtain because i'm going to line my bed before i put on the top sheet to protect my mattress I got the shower curtain, and with the shower curtain, I purchased some sheet grippers. So that's what's going to wrap around the um, the actual bed, and then if I happen to leak or get any body fluid on the bed, it won't damage my mattress because I have the shower curtain to protect it as a layer. And I got these two right here. So that was kind of creative. So. Uh, I got some puffs, you know, some facial tissue wipes because you never know. I'm just going to put this over here 
by my bedside. Never know, I got that. To help assist with using the um, flushables and or the baby wipes or whatever, because I'm not gonna be able to get up and move around too much. I got some disposable um, baby diaper bags, which I can put here on the side of the bed. So after I, you know, get the bird bath or the husband, you know, the hubs right here help change the dressing, we got some little diaper bags, disposable garbage bags. So I got that right there. And you're getting 75 in this pack. I think that's really convenient. And it's baby powder something. So I got that. Um, I got some gauze pads right here. It says it's wicks and absorbs with extra layer. So I got some gauzes. You never know. I bought some sheer antibacterial bandages, like I said, to put over the incision points right there once they begin to close up. So, and these are antibacterial. Just in case, because you never know, I want to keep checking my temperature to make sure I don't get no fever or nothing. I purchased also a digital thermometer that looks like this. And it says it's easy to read LCD screen. So it looks like this right here. Got the temperature, because you got to keep checking your temperature. At least they told me every uh, two hours to keep checking my temperature, you know, to make sure I'm at a normal temperature. I got some disposable gloves right here, which I'm going to get another pack of these because this is only 10. But I got some disposable gloves. Um, now, if you happen to hear some music or the fire truck going by, I'm in New York City, so it is what it is. Uh, keeping up with everything, I also brought some waterproof tape right here. Now, I got the tape to go along with the uh, gorge right here, so when you apply it, you know, you got to tape it to secure it, so I got that. I bought some hauls. It was suggested that I get some cork drops because when you get any type of um, incision marks or surgery, that's puncturing your skin. That can also leave room for you to catch a slight cold. That's another reason why I purchased the, um, the, the monitor right here because it was all suggested from the doctor for me to get these things right here. So I got some hauls just in case if I happen to get a sore throat or anything like that. I got some hauls. I purchased um, an ice pack. This can be used hot or this can be used cold. So it's reusable. I got an ice pack. And that's to help with any swelling or anything that might occur. Uh, also picked up some um, cotton swabs that look like this right here. I got the cotton swabs and again the cotton swabs is to help clean the, in the incision points of where they you know inserted to do the lipo so got that. Also got some cotton rounds and that's so when the hubs or I use the peroxide we have the cotton rounds to go ahead and clean around the areas. Oh, the video's almost over. Okay. Three more thing. Got some more cork drops. These are the vapor, uh, Vix va Vapo Drops. Sorry, uh, Vix Vapo Drops, and it's in the flavor called Cherry. Got some of that. I don't think the cork drops is necessarily needed, but they said it's all for precautionary reasons. So, okay. Now this is going to be a hat. I purchased some bladder control liners, not for what it said it is, but for what I know I can use it for. Because like I said, once you get your lipo or your um, 360 BBL, whichever, your um, incision points um, may leak, okay? Especially if you're not using a drainage tube, because my doctor already told me he's not going to use no drain tubes for me. I'm going to drain naturally. So... I said to myself, if the gorge doesn't, you know, hold the drainage properly from the uh, liquid that's draining out, what I'm going to do is take some of these bladder control liners and cut it in half, place it over the um, incision mark, and then, where is it? I just showed it to you all. Oh my gosh. Right here. Cut this in half take it and place it over the incision where the drainage is occurring and tape it onto it and that way the bladder control liner will absorb 
the drainage that is leaking out. So I don't have to damage my sheets too much or I don't have to damage the Faja that I will be wearing. So that's why I got that. That was a little hack. So I hope it works out for me. Oh my God. Oh, okay. And the last thing I want to share with you is some more road gauze because they said um, this is for hard to bandage areas is soft and flexible and this is a rolling gorge and the first one that I had was just a layered gorge. I mean this was already pre-cut and this one you're going to have to cut the size to whatever it is you're um, putting it over. So on that note dolls, this is everything that I picked up from my local Dollar Tree Did to help us. Some of the stuff that we was going to get afterwards like uh, the massage machine and uh, the BBL oh, pillows. No, but this was about Dollar Tree. The same. You know what, dog? Okay. The hubs of, I don't know if you heard him correctly. There's a lot more things that um, we're ordering from Amazon that I'm picking up. And uh, what you said, the, um, the BBL pillow. The BBL pillow, the. Um, the thing that you got to stand up to pee, I guess it's called. Oh, female. The, the female oh, urinal. Yeah, the, oh, so I can I can pee standing up. The lumbar and molder. The, oh, for the, okay, the lumbar molder. In a separate video, right after this one, I'm gonna make a separate video sharing with you all the BBL journey because I know my official Glam Dolls, and when I say official, that means subscribe Glam Dolls. You're looking at this video like, where is this coming from? What is she talking about? <laughs> Don't worry, I got you all. I'm, I'm going to film the journey video. So in that video, I will share with you the additional supplies that I'm picking up from Amazon and what else may be needed. But this video is about things that I purchased from my local Dollar Tree to help aid in my post-op recovery. So if you're a glam doll like myself and you're going in for your lipo and you're going in for either your tummy tuck or whatever type of surgery you're going in and you need post-op supplies, check out your local Dollar Tree because you're guaranteed to save some coins on top of the coins you done paid <laughs> for your surgery. So on that note, dog, for real, this just um, concludes the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to let's stay socially connected. I am on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter with more beauty alerts and fat. Oh, wait, one more thing. When it comes to the surgery, for the first time in the history of YouTube, I think, don't quite quote me yet, but I'm going to do my BBL uh, surgery with the lipo live. I'm going to go live while doing it. So, yeah, that's all being explained in the next video. But like I said, don't forget, because see, we do got to stay socially connected. So do keep in mind, I am on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, and I'm on Twitter. And I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later, dolls. <laughs> I'm here today to share with you all my Lipo 360 BBL journey that I'm embarking upon. I already wrote some um, notes down that I want to touch base on and um, I'm just going to jump right on into this video.